crank her up. So yesterday, pulling all these trucks out, I fold her in and rip the crotch slap out of my jeans. I thought I kind of heard something and felt a little cool air down there, but I wasn't sure. And then when I got down out of my loader the last time, I finished ripping it the uh, rest of the way out. So, I had to throw them away, which is all right. Let's go down here. It's, uh, we're going to get this one truck out. I've loaded. This is the last truck on the first round. I came up here this morning. It's Friday morning. Of the logging show in Arkansas and uh, loaded loaded everybody and as soon as I pull this truck out I'm heading back toward the house I got an hour drive back to the house and then I'm gonna load up and head to Hot Springs to the uh, logging show there and attend it and my dad's gonna finish loading the rest of the day. No, my dad's been to that show a bunch of times. I've never been to the one in Hot Springs. He's been up there a good many times and he's not gonna go this year. And the only reason that I'm going is because Rotaback. If it wasn't for that, I would not be going. So, take grapple up the front. Alright. Get him hooked up. Man, we were beat down. Oh my gosh. This week has sucked. We've hauled a lot of wood, but man, we were wore out. I mean. It's just this is some uh, very difficult running here. All right, let's go to the top of the hill with him here. So maybe on the end of this video, behind this right here, you might get a travel vlog. I don't know. We will see. It's getting so dry now too that the hills are starting to come apart. You kind of need a little bit of moisture in this ground to where to hold together. When it starts coming apart, you start getting these holes in these hills. So I can, I can feel the machine doing like that right there. Now what it's doing is walking through those holes. him in the mirror there wander up here <laughs> yeah I've gotten a bunch of truck pulling videos you're pretty much going to get whatever the video you're going to get is going to be whatever I happen to be running that particular day. You can see that fan kick on blowing that dust out.
not gonna quit. <laughs> it's your fault she made me cry. <laughs> I have nothing to say. What My heart like. hadn't quit pounding yet. Cottonwood jumped out back there. He's gone. Thank Scared him to thank death. Goodness for that. <laughs> so we're driving along. I don't know how fast we're running. I'm over here asleep. Speed limit. That's speed limit. Going. Okay, speed limit. We in a construction zone. And there's a truck. Oh, I, 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 I just saw blur go by when I opened my eyes. I thought we were dead or well, something. You should have been awake paying attention. Anyhow, Jill moved over to go by him. And there's a, we're on a four lane. There's cut throughs. It's not a controlled access four lane. There's cut throughs everywhere down through here. He was in the right lane. Jill was in the left. I had just moved to the I left. had just to moved to the left. Because he was going slow. And he decided the last minute he was gonna shoot over. Well, I felt, the, of course, I felt the brakes apply really quick and hard. Well, I about got whiplash, you know, because I'm over here and out. <laughs> and I look up, and we're doing like this back to the right across there or whatever, and I'm screaming, My team, my team! And I don't know why you did, but you didn't know what was going on. I didn't, I didn't know, I just knew we were. I thought Jill had done went to sleep too. Actually, is what I. This <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. We're in the Mississippi Delta now. Between Greenwood and Greenville, Mississippi. It's primarily nothing but farming over here, whether it's agriculture or. Uh, Catfish, all that's cotton right there. Cotton and then corn over here on this side of the road. And then there's more corn over there. A lot of soybeans too. So that field right there is gonna be soybeans, it's green. And of course you can see the corn on the other side of it, kind of brown. That's Mississippi Valley State University. I just assumed that since Jill worked for a university in Columbus that she would know what their specialty was over here. None of the other universities except for Mississippi University for Women even matter. So why would I know? I don't know. I just thought you might know. No. Who uh -huh. cares about the rest of them? It's just the W that matters. True that. Okay. Yeah, that's a big old case tractor right there. I can't see the numbers on it from right here. Looks like he's getting fuel. What are you doing, Jill? I'm driving. Okay. Right. I'm glad you confirmed that for me. Thank you. So over there, on that side of the road, all that used to be catfish lakes. You can still see the old levees where they, and the power lines where they run the aerators. There was a uh, lot of catfish lakes over here. And this is kind of where catfish farming started in Mississippi. And the prices got bad on them and they turned a lot of it back into uh, agriculture stuff. You know, soybean corn. Like what's over here? I mean, it's just yeah, all used to be just solid lakes, catfish lakes, one right after another. When you come down through here, we're in uh, Sunflower County right now. That's where we're at. So we are getting close. We're not too far. Let's see. We're not too far from getting all the way to the other side of the Mississippi. We're right at. Uh, we're almost in Indianola now, that's where we're at. See, they're combining corn right there, right now. They've already started uh, some at the house there too, you know, on the west on the west side of the river, our county. Man, when they, when they get full bore going here, which is what's fixed about to happen, see that's old Catfish Lakes right there too. 
they won't be nothing but one tractor right after another coming up and down the road here. That in there's pulling pans though. Big case. Five thirty-five. Between Indianola and Greenville now. Dang it, man. Locked the family jewels off there, Jill. <laughs> Gracious alive. is on the side of this creek right here. Let's see it right there. That's the uh, Jim Henson Museum over at little building right there. He's the creator, the Muppets creator, the Kermit the Frog, all those cats like that. He was actually from, from here in Mississippi. A little cool tidbit of information. All right, we're about to exit Mississippi. This is the uh, Mississippi River Bridge. We're on Highway 82 right now. That's where we're currently located. And as soon as we hit the middle of this bridge, we'll be in Arkansas. We still have about 180 miles to go from right here at this point now. So not much more further to uh, get there. It's a heck of a bridge too. It hadn't been long. Uh, I forget what year it was when this one opened, but it hadn't been that long ago. There's a river over there. This bridge just goes and goes. There was a, the old one over here and they tore it down. Man, it was narrow. What you talking about? We made it. <laughs> What's the matter, Jill? Uh, nothing. I smiled at you. I what know. You think you think? What's the matter? I know. Well, at least you did smile at me then. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So here it is, people right here mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not supposed to say that beer yeah, There's a 625. So we just come in kind of late on Friday evening and we're fixing to head to the hotel, which is right across the walk right here. And we're gonna get situated. There's a 632. And we're gonna get situated and uh, go get something to eat. So at least we ain't eating up there in Quebec where everybody speaks French there, Pierre, and we don't know what the heck we're doing, man. Poutine. That's right. Oh, poutine is real good. That's some good stuff, man. Why don't, why don't they all have that in the South for, man? I don't know. They did last night. So we had poutine off of that. Last night, that was uh, Irish poutine. Uh-huh. Okay. And the guy said, well, what you were coming to say, Irish poutine is very good. And then he said, yeah. you know, Pierre is from Quebec, so I said, just forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> so we got French Canadian here. You don't want that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, these little things are the ticket man wrinkled up shirts yes all right so me and jill are here we're in hot springs arkansas we're going to be staying right here tonight be up bright eyed and bushy tailed in the morning the logging show the southwest forest products expo hot springs arkansas right here by the embassy suites uh come see us it starts at eight in the morning and it wraps up at 3 p.m. so uh jill and i will be here all day long at the show 
and uh, we'll be at the Rodebeck booth. It won't be no trouble to find us, so uh, come come hang out with us for a little while, and uh, I'll have everything there, and um, whatever you want to do, we'll hang out for a little bit. So, uh, day's been a long day for us. I'm uh, going to wrap this video up. Appreciate all y'all watching, and uh, I'll be filming some more from the show tomorrow, so check out all the clickable stuff right down below. We appreciate y'all. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.